and the service was so lengthy. <laughs> and I said, my God. And, and it looked like to me, instead of me putting brakes on, I ain't going back there. It hit her and me up the next Sunday morning. Because mm. <laughs> it had something in it. And she would continue going on, continue going on. And she spoke on love by I know at least two months. <laughs> I know at least two months. Every Sunday morning, it was, we didn't have this kind of talk. We had the Bible. There was no Sunday school literature. No more from the Bible itself. Mm -hmm. And she would talk on love and love and love and love. And I'd be praying, Lord, I hope somebody get that. And I, it was me that needed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm hoping and wishing somebody get that so much and go along and get some others. Mm -hmm. but, and, and when I receive, I'm open up, Elder Rodney, to receive everything this Sunday morning. I'm going to get everything come out of this so. I know it ain't gonna be me. Yes, 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 <laughs> see, yes, yes. See, God have people tarry mm -hmm. a long time so the individual in the audience will pick up, then he'll let Because he don't want it. The Word of God said, I would that you prosper and be in good health mm -hmm. and your soul prosper. Even as. Yeah. He don't want you lost. He yes. wants you to benefit from all of his word. Hallelujah. And he ain't gonna let the preacher continue on unless he just get in his flesh and move on anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. But sometimes he wants you to linger. Linger on. He said it over. Sometimes he might say it over three or four times. But say it if God put it in your spirit to say That's right. somebody out there seeking That's for something. Right. And when he get it, God will let you move on. Mm -hmm. Man, I said that to say this. They, the angels in the elders, they praise God 24 hours. And then if we sometimes we look at our watch, it's two hours and a half past. Mm -hmm. And three hours we're going to look cross out. And four hours our stomach going to go to telling us we need to go home and eat. Mm -hmm. See, when we get out of our flesh, we see this is a flesh thing. Mm -hmm. Get out of the flesh, let the spirit rise, and God will energize you. Mm -hmm. God will continue Hallelujah. to bless you, and I mean, He'll bless you tremendously. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to say this here. We were in the Church of God in Christ, and they have these meetings every year. And our meeting was in Oklahoma City, <coughs> our district headquarters. Mm -hmm. And we had to be there every night. We didn't have to be there, but we that's what they wanted you there. From at least 7.30 until, sometimes they didn't get out to 12 or 1 o'clock in the night time. And I'd be sitting up there twisting and turning, and I had to be at work at 5 o'clock. And I said, man, I wish they hurry up and shut up. <laughs> so I could go home. And, and you know the Lord fixed me where I can endure he fixed me so I can endure the length of time because I begin to open up myself for the let the spirit man reign and hear what he wanted me to do. Yeah. And God inside me so I would get back home, put on my work clothes and be ready for work. And then get sleepy the next day. Mm. Get God. Because I opened up for it. If you open up for the Spirit of the Lord to reign in you, open up for the Spirit of the Lord to energize you, get what He got for you, He'll keep you alert. Yes, He will. He'll keep you, if you want to get hungry or whatever that bothers you, David, it won't bother you. Why? Because you let God reign. Amen. You let God reign. You let God rule and reign in your life. And when we do that, God keeps us energized so we can continue. Let's go back to the lesson, yeah, amen. Beautiful lesson this morning. And I mean, so let's read me on page 162, or a short verse or two. Page 162, at the bottom paragraph on the left corner, said the first aspect of, of his word in this, thou art word is to take <coughs> and to open the seal thereof, the second of the word, 
seven of the of his word were of redemption. For thou wast slain and had redeemed us to God by this blood out of the earth, careless and tongue and people and nations and third and <coughs> elevation believing believers and has made us unto our God kings and priests mm. and we shall reign on earth. So he worked and we look at what God had done for us. We look at God had brought us from. I, I years ago I used to when we were living in Chicago, I used to Tell Reverend Clay Evans every Sunday. We didn't live far from the church that he pastored. And he had a theme in his had cotton stalk in his church. You walk in his church, there's a big old cotton stalk. Some of you in here don't even know what a cotton stalk is. Mm. And never seen one. Mm. But he had that as a reminder. He had a big huge church, big, big Baptist church. Mm. And he has as a reminder from what for what God had brought him from. Mm -hmm. He was a farmer from Tennessee. He said, God brought me from a concert and put me in a Cadillac. <laughs> 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 and he didn't want to forget that. Yes. See, a long time when God blesses us, we forget about where we come from. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at me, look at me. But remember what God brought you from. If we can remember what God brought us from, we ought to be better servants to God. Yes. We ought to be more than willing to do what God wants us to do. That's right. When we look back at what God brought us from. That's right. Me and my wife has a testimony. Sometimes we tell it how God has brought us. We got one pair of shoes per year. Mm. And she used to pray to hay bale and why it was a regular why that people using farm on the farm to with tractors, anybody know what tractors and bale and hay mean? Some of y'all don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. But anyway the wire comes from bale and the hay and we use that string wire sometimes to make some hooks and put in the soles of our shoes to keep them shoes on there so we until we get to another pair of shoes. Right. So our parents weren't able like we are now. Yes. yes. And things weren't as free as uh, that. And things, it, they weren't as expensive as they are now, but people didn't have nothing. Mm. Amen. And when we got a pair of shoes, we made them last a year. Amen. We made our stuff last. We were treat our stuff like we wanted to keep it sometimes. And I remember years ago you see children get brand new stuff and they didn't like it, they tied it up. Mm. They kicked the shoes around, throw them in the corner because they didn't like it. Hey mm. man, but God, and I tell you, we get back to the list. Remember what God brought us from. And remember when you didn't have what you wanted to eat all the time. Mm -hmm. You just had something to eat. Maybe not what you want to eat, but something to eat. And some folk didn't have nothing to eat. So we were blessed to have something to eat. So we can remember back then, Lord, you brought us from back then. And every time we remember all these things, we ought to put another, as old folks just said, well, I'm shooting the spirit to press on. I'm going on further. Mm -hmm. Because God, you didn't have to leave me there. You could have left me back there. You couldn't you didn't have to bless me to continue on. See, that's what the angel will remember. The angel of Psalm 24 hours of the day reminds us that we all always praise God. Mm -hmm. We all always keep Him first. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. He is our first priority. No matter what's going on, look, to God. He is first and number one. Amen. Wow. So this is a beautiful lesson this morning. The Lamb is representing Jesus, and He is worthy of our worship. Mm -hmm. He's worthy of our worship. Amen. Anybody has a thought at this time? <coughs> I was thinking about. Yeah. 
Sufficient shoes. I don't have this and I don't have that. Yes. Some people don't even have a feet mm-hmm. to put the shoe in. Amen. You you complaining that you don't have no shoes? Right. Mm-hmm. Praise God. And 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 uh, uh, the Lamb is worthy uh, uh, to worship Him and and praise Him yeah. and thank Him and glorify mm-hmm. His name mm-hmm. and let Him know how much we appreciate yes. Him. How much we love him. Yes. Uh, oh, praise yeah. God. And, and um, how, how thankful that uh, he blessed us uh, to be together today one yeah. more time. Amen. Praise God. We didn't have to be here. Yeah. But he blessed us to be together one more yeah. time. Yeah. And that's a blessing right there. Yeah. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Glory to God. Mm-hmm. And you can look around and see. Uh, uh, the blessings uh, that just sitting here, I can look and see oh, yes. blessing that that uh, uh, God is blessing. 
Yes. Uh, when you in your closed and in your right mind come right. here right. and have right. mind enough to give God glory, right. give Him right. thanks right. and give Him right. honor, right. praise God, right. glory right. to God. Yes. Uh, 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 you are blessed. You are blessed. Uh, praise God, mm -hmm. glory to God, mm -hmm. and and. Uh, to, to have sufficient clothes, yeah. food on your taste, mm. automobile to drive, yes. mm. to come come to his house. Yes. Be thankful. Right. Uh, it, it may not be what you want all the time, yes. but it gets you from A to Z. Yes. Praise oh, yeah. God. And that's, that's a blessing that's there. A blessing. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. I, re I remember when we just had those old, what you call them, clunkers. Oh. Uh, mm. Praise God. We had old truck, mm -hmm. and it didn't all them want to go up the hill. We hey, had uh, hey, sometimes push, hey, push hey, it, and then <laughs> jump back in and ride down the hill, and then give it a little little speed, yes. and it'll go for a while. <laughs> Praise God! And it'll go for a while, and it'll stop. Then we get out. Uh, my uh, sister mm -hmm. was a teenager. Mm -hmm. And they didn't want to uh, be pushing because boys would be looking at them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you don't push, you'll be just sitting, standing here. <laughs> and they gotta, get out and start, you know, pushing. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, praise God. Be thankful uh, that you could ride in it sometime. Yes. Let it go sometime. Yeah. Praise God. Glory <laughs> to God. We would have had to walk all the way. Mm -hmm. But at least we did get to ride some. Yes. Uh, praise God to be uh, thankful. Yes. I mean, I said that to uh, uh, say this to be thankful for all things. Oh, yes. uh, praise God, glory to God, mm -hmm. and and uh, and especially uh, think about what what the Lord have done for mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Uh, praise God, the price that He paid when He didn't have mm -hmm. to pay it, mm -hmm. but He did. He did. Didn't even know sin. He. He paid the price for us, yes. praise God, that we may have the right to the tree of life. Yes, he did. Praise God, glory to God. Mm -hmm. And we would be sitting here today if it be not for him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. We wouldn't be uh, 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 here. That's praise right. God. And, and, and wherefore, he is so worthy, mm -hmm. worthy, yes. worthy, worthy. Well, of all, all uh, uh, praises and glory and honor. Yes. Uh, praise God, glory to God. He's the Almighty God. Oh, He's the Almighty Everlasting God. Father. Mm -hmm. He's the Prince of Peace. Yes. He's the Lord of Lord. Mm -hmm. He's the King of Kings. Yes. He's our joy. He's yes. our peace. Yes. He's our Amen. everything. Amen. Praise God, mm -hmm. glory to God. Mm -hmm. And I just want to uh, give him uh, thanks and uh, and honor, mm -hmm. uh, praise God, for do Him. Yeah. Uh, praise God, glory to God. Mm -hmm. So, so saints, be encouraged. Mm -hmm. Be encouraged today to keep on keeping on mm -hmm. and holding on to God's unchanging hand. Amen. And and uh, that is something when you you can feel close to Him. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God knowing that he cares yes. he sees and he cares no matter what you are going mm -hmm. through praise god he he he's he he's not uh uh blind folk can't see mm -hmm. what you uh going through mm -hmm. praise god glory to god he knows he knows and yeah. all we have to do is just furnish faith that he's going to take care of yes mm -hmm. and he will he will uh, praise too. god and be grateful and thankful uh uh for him mm -hmm. of doing what 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 he does for us. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. That reminds me of the song, the song right that wrote, when I look back over my life mm -hmm. and see. I think things over. I, I'm not going to just write like it is, but he said I've been blessed. I'm truly blessed. Mm -hmm. I have a testimony. Yes. And when we look back and see him, and everyone in this building right now, God has brought you from somewhere. Yeah, yeah. He has done something mm. for you. may not have been what he done for me, but he done something for you that mm -hmm. you will never forget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll lean on you when you might be out there, the enemy might be using you, but you're going to remember what God done for you. Mm -hmm. I have seen the worst drunk on the street. He can always... Man, I ain't supposed to be doing this here. I would have raised better than this. Mm. Drunk as he could think. 
And, but he can remember how his parents or how somebody met him and told him he shouldn't be doing that. He knows. And we should, and, and when we know these things, they put it into action that, Lord, I thank you. Always have a praise down in you. Hallelujah. Yeah, well, you can be thanking God all day long. Don't let that get bored. See, when we come out of the world, we had a boy. I know I did that boy. I thought I was feeling that boy spirit was smoking. I thought I had to have a cigarette. If I get a cigarette, that looked like settle me down. Mm. I'm all right now. I can make it another couple of hours. I'm fine now. I don't smoke and blow smoke in there. I'm fine now. But as soon as that level out, I need another. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. You might know what I'm talking about. I needed another uh, one to settle me down. Mm -hmm. But when I got mm. saved and filled with the Holy Ghost, that boy was gone. I don't need no smoking no more. Hallelujah. I to praise God more, and the more I praise God, the stronger I get, the more I can face, the stronger I can. And continue, see, don't be looking back and wishing that you were well back. But continue to step forward, and God will help you to go on. Amen. Amen. Anybody else had to tell on this lesson? This is a beautiful lesson. The Lamb worthy of worship. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Amen. Uh, yeah, I was just looking here. I said we have uh, someone played 163. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it says we look at the different parts of the, of this great chapter. Let us step back now to see some of the lessons about worship. Mm -hmm. First, true worship is about the Lord Himself, and not about us. Mm -hmm. Some worship today tries to bring in human elements and focus too much on what we do and what benefits we may gain. Mm -hmm. Revelation 5 shows that Jesus Christ is the sole object of worship. All we can do is fall before him. Mm -hmm. Second, true worship is about giving, not getting. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we hear people say, I did not get much out of the service this morning. Giving is not a point of worship. Mm -hmm. Rather, we come to give something, we give the Lord our heart felt wish. Yeah, that's right. Third, true worship places a great emphasis on Christ's death. Look back through the words of Revelation 5 to see how many times John referred to Christ's death a lamb as it had been slain. When thou was slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood, verse 7. And worthy is the lamb that was slain, verse 12. In our singing praise and preaching, let us exalt the crucified Christ. Fourth, true worship ascribes to the Lamb what he deserves, power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing in our prayers. Our, in our prayers, in our singing, and even in our personal conversation, let us tell the Lord that he is indeed worthy of all these ascriptions of praise. He never tries to hear, he never tires to hear these words from us. Fifth, this chapter gives us insight into music used in worship. True worship music exalts the death of Christ, his marvelous attributes, and expression of his great work. Music based on the expression of worship in this chapter and other chapters of the Bible leads us to the throne room of God. Six, true worship will be our eternal activity. We do not know all that we will do in heaven someday, but we do know that our time will be filled with regular and unending worship and praise for the Lamb. Such heavenly worship is possible because Jesus Christ the Lamb lives forever. The truth of Revelation 5 should lead us to more meaningful private worship time and more expressive corporate worship with our church family. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
It's a, it's a, I didn't what worship is about. It's about him. Yes. He, he has done so much, but he's worthy. He's worthy. Yep. He's, worthy. He's, worthy. He's, he's worthy anyway. Yes. 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 He's, he's worthy. That's that's the main thing. That's yeah. one reason we we don't we wish we thank him for what he's done. We praise him for what he's done. Yeah. But we wish him because he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's, you know. He's, yeah. So you know that's it's, and and that's the bottom bottom line. He deserves yeah. the wish. Yes. Amen. But we do, we do praise Him. You know, give Him glory for for all He has done. Yes. Amen. All He has done and what He continues to do, and we, and we will worship Him also in the Spirit. Amen. Because He's He's worthy. Amen. Yes. He is. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Papa. My sister, touch Uh, represent 
Jesus' authority and power. Mm -hmm. So the seven eyes are described as being the seven spirits of God that he had sent out into every part of the earth. This uh, phrase also used in Revelation 4 and 5 uh, probably uh, points to the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in his uh, sevenfold character. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Praise yeah. God. It's, telling, it's, it's describing what's in our lesson here. Yes. Uh, praise God. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Amen, amen. This morning we have another witness this morning. The Lamb was worthy of worship. He was worthy of all our worship that we give Him. Amen. And I listen to El Ponce when he was reading all these comments, what we worship all of them. And he was worthy of being worship because He. And if you look at what he had done for us, yep. mm -hmm. and he didn't have to do nothing, he was still worthy of us. Mm -hmm. And we sometimes, mm -hmm. as a, a nation of people, when people get authority, you have to reverence them some kind of way, yep. or honor them, or respect to them mm -hmm. some kind of way, mm -hmm. and they ain't done nothing. Well, you think about Christ and he had done all. Mm -hmm. He will die for us. Mm -hmm. He humbled and died for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. and, and, and John said in the Word, He still bare the mark. Mm -hmm. Amen. Of the, what they done to Him. He still bear those marks. Mm -hmm. And He worthy of our worship. Mm -hmm. Amen. Everybody in the earth, all the, and we sing that song, everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Amen. Everybody ought to know. Mm -hmm. And then if you know who he is, that I began to stay earlier, um, and what he done for you, and if you look back on your life and think about where he brought you from, like I remind you of El Reverend Evans in Chicago, at that constant reminding him that he don't want to elevate himself no matter how big his congregation. So a lot of people, when they get 15 members in the church, Look at me. Look at my members. He had hundreds of members. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Christ ought to remind him not to elevate yourself. Mm -hmm. Remind you where you come from. Mm -hmm. And to praise God for where he brought you to. Mm -hmm. And see, we can, all, we can grow when we do that. Mm -hmm. And we just remind ourselves. And thank God for what He done for you. And my wife already said, thank Him for what you live in. Sometimes we want the Him to rain down big old houses, cars, Cadillac, whatever. You got your mind focused on, you go to these meetings, they pray. I pray over you and march you, and, and God gonna give you a Cadillac. God gonna put money in your bank account. But be skeptical about these things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be watchful on them things. God can do these things, true. Yes, uh -huh. He can. But what little bit He already bless you, we thank Him. And I guarantee you, if you thank Him for that little bit and, and be sincere, when you thanking Him for that little bit, you gave me a biscuit this morning. I didn't have nothing. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that biscuit. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow He might put some bacon on that biscuit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Yes. If you thank him, he's yes. going to give you something more. Amen. Yes. In, all way, in all things, be thankful. Amen. So we got to thank God for what we do, what he did, what he brought us from, and how he, what he's doing for us right now. Amen. Yes. All right, we're moving on. If anybody else has a thought, we find us something in the topic. Nobody? Let me read this here. So, uh, Page 168, at the bottom in the heart of the lesson, it says, immediately the 12, the 4, and the 24, immediately, <coughs> immediately, the 24, and I'm, I'm, I'm reading that right here, the 24, <coughs> 24 elders, and the four living creatures, Surrounding God from fell down before the Lamb and to worship Him. The elders had 
hearts that go and go in, of incense. The incense signify the prayer of the saints. See, they're proud of the thing that falling down. Mm. See, see, look, we thank you. We just thank you. Good. No, God, they are bold up what they can. When we pray, they're going to hear your prayers. You might not be in a position of position, wherever you ask, maybe asking God for something, He wants you to move out of that where you at to get to receive these blessings. Sometimes we can be praying for something and, and it's over here. We got to get in that, get over there. Otherwise, you can't stand there. You got to move over there in the Spirit of God. Otherwise, God, let God use you to get you over there. Let the Word of God clean you up. Let the Word of God get you to understand what He wants you to do and think and, and apply the Word. Thank you. Mm, yeah. See, a lot of times when you know the Word, we don't apply the Word. Mm. And we don't walk in the Word. When we get to where we understand the word, walk in the word, apply the word in the situation that you come, God will move you on to a different realm. Sometimes we'd be getting things. I know one, one time I, I was just really moving. I, I was moving. I'm moving now, but then I was very sin. I was moving out, Paul. I said, I used to. I used to get mad when they do do things. I used to get mad and, and, and think about retaliate and I had to move from that position now and I be thanking God on the job oh the old boss man he was a hateful mean man come out there and he had uh, he was from the neighbor they said them neighbors curse like sin yeah. I mean he had a foul mouth and he didn't mean it directly to you but he just had a foul mouth mm -hmm. and one day I just could take no more of that cursing I had to let God arrive in me. And when everybody was going, I walked in. Hey man, please don't do that no more. He said, I noticed you've been, you don't act like the rest of these people. You must be in charge. I'm saying, mm. man. He said, from now on, Brian, I'll give my uttermost to respect you. Mm. He said, my parents were saved. I know what that means. So he started respecting me. Yeah. I, I, I thought he was going to go over there and go to, Man, you don't know. No, but God had me under his wings and I talked to him like a man and he listened like a man and he respected me from then on. Because mm -hmm. I, did, I, I didn't want all that cursing. I, see, a lot of times you, it might not, some, some folk might not believe it, might sound strange to you, but what you listen to a lot of times get in your spirit. That's right. Yeah. It is a, you know That's what I'm right. talking about. He gets in your spirit. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And it's there. And, and after a while, you, if you get enough of it in there, it can take control of you. Mm -hmm. Right. So you want to keep everything. Keep the door closed. Mm -hmm. All that junk you to live. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, praise yeah. the Lord. I'm trying to go on, but uh, anybody else has a thought here before we call El Rodney for this beautiful lesson here. We hardly ever study in the book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. But when we do get one, you tell the subject out of Revelation. Meaning God is alert and working us. And so, see, this is what we're going towards. And when we learn it, you know how, what's there, what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. The end time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Nobody has a thought for me. We'll go on and find something else for me to run. And everybody can get tired of us. Y'all don't get a sense of y'all from me. Oh, this is good. Y'all don't get a sense of y'all. Anyhow, just one moment, everybody. All right. One moment, yeah. I have something more to bring to your attention. I mark some time and I don't put the right kind of circle on it and I forget about what I did. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. So John then saw the Lord Jesus Christ standing. I thought I heard God probably did have somebody read that. So the Lord Jesus Christ standing in the throne room in the midst of the four living creatures. 
and 20 elements. The fact that he was standing shown his victory over death and living creatures and probably angels. And the 24 elders like to presented the redeemed of the church. Amen. Mm. And, 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 and it says some, some of these were from all different from rep nations and people don't want your elders. And what did I see that at now? The scripture brings to mind that Jesus worked in the Passion Lamb who was sacrificed for us. When John saw the Lord Jesus, he could tell he had been slain because he still, oh, you brought, you brought that up, he still bore the marks. All the marks that they've done to him, he still had the marks of John. That's got to be the man that did this. That's got to be the man that died for my sin. He is the one. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Somebody preached a sermon long years ago. What's in heaven that man put there? Mm -hmm. And could nobody come up with the thought that there's the nail scars in Jesus' hand, friend. The only thing in heaven that man put there. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but we see here in the, what Revelation said, he still bore the marks. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the Bible. Mm -hmm. and somebody brought up a sermon and said, what's in heaven that man sent? Or whatever, what's in heaven that man put there? And we got to think, what's up there? What can man put up there? He said, the nail scars in Jesus' hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody else before we call El Rodney? Come on, El Rodney. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Bible scholar. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bless your mother. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. 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 Good Good stuff. Good stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Treasure, treasure, and appreciate it. Amen. We're just grateful. Grateful for associate pastors, Dad and Mom Bryant. Amen. For the good sound teaching they give us through mm -hmm. our Sunday school lesson. Yes, we honor them, honor and appreciate them. Yeah. I, I, I never get tired of saying that because I really mean it. I mean, we just we appreciate it. Amen. Praise God. Uh, we also honor, precious, honor and appreciate our precious mother honey in her absence. Thank Amen. God for her. Yes, yes. Yes. Our precious faithful elder Apollos. Yes. Yes, indeed. Appreciate him and children, teachers on post. Uh, Amen. And back and all who participate, we are always better yes. together. Yes, sir. Yes. We give special honor and appreciation to the pastor of this house. Yes, yes. Missionary Regina Tucker. Amen. And our Bishop Roy Tucker. Yes, sir. Thank God for them also. And remember to keep our leaders in your sincere prayer. Yes. yes. This part of our Sunday school is when we go through the scriptures of the lesson. Mm -hmm. You will need your Bible today. This lesson is the Lamb worthy of worship. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. The lesson text is Revelation 5, 6 through 14. And this is our custom here at Mother Turkey Ministries. So let's go back and recap last week's lesson in the spirit of diligence. Mm -hmm. All right. Always good to go back and recap. What was our lesson title last week? The Son of Greater Than Angels. Greater than angels. The Son yes. Greater Than yes. Angels. Yes. That was from Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 9. So I have written down from last week. Uh, the book of Hebrews is a unique epistle. Mm -hmm in that the entire epistle was specifically written to the Hebrew people, mm -hmm. or the Israelites, Israelites, right? Yes, sir. And I, and, I, and I stated that my Bible actually says the book, the, the epistle of Paul, the apostle Paul, to the Hebrews. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Some Bible just say Hebrews, but mine actually says the epistle of the apostle Paul to the Hebrews. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it, was, it, was, it, was a, it was a higher level conversation to a people mm -hmm. who knew the scripture. Mm -hmm. right? it, it, it was a specific conversation that was necessary mm -hmm. because of who they were. Mm -hmm. so, so whoever the writer was, they say Paul, I'm, you know, let's debate who actually wrote the epistle of mm -hmm. Hebrews. But the writer was trying to give the Hebrew people uh, a revelation of our new high priest. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. To a people who were familiar with the priesthood. Because, like I said, you won't see the word priest or priesthood in none of the letters to the Gentiles. You won't mm -hmm. see those words, priest or priesthood. Mm -hmm. right? It was a specific conversation to a people who knew the scriptures and all that. So, so, so he was trying to get them to understand and get the revelation of this new high priest, which, which is in, in effect a new covenant. Mm -hmm. Right. So that, that was what the book of Hebrews was really about, the high priesthood, comparing it to the order of Aaron, and this is the order of Melchizedek. Anyway, so so this was a book written to the Hebrew people, descendants of Abraham, on a higher <coughs> level about the high priest, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Right? Mm -hmm. So in our lesson, uh, we're the, we were at the very beginning of this letter to the Hebrew people. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 1 and 1 says, God, who at what times? Sundry. Sundry. Sundry times, or many times, right? Yes. And in what manners? Diverse, Diverse or different mm -hmm. manners. Really, some, some versions say different ways. Mm -hmm. God did what? Faith. Yes. Faith. 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 Mm -hmm. Right? When? Time, time passed. Unto who? Well, the fathers or our ancestors, the ancestors of the Hebrews, as the NIV says, our ancestors. Verse 1 ends saying, God spake at sundry or many times in diverse or different manners. He spake in time past to the ancestors by who? The prophets. God spoke. Now, making a point, God uses people. Yes, right. yes. He spoke through the prophet, through the prophets. Yes. He could have spoke himself, but yes. he used the prophets, yes. the imperfect yes. people who had a call on their lives, and they were called prophets. Yes. God used people, so it's just interesting how he spoke through people. Amen. Mm -hmm. but he spoke through the prophets, right? Amen. But the point was, God spoke. Yes. Uh, so, so they said, God spoke in times past uh, unto our fathers or ancestors by the prophets. In verse two, the same God had when in the last days did what? Spoken to who? Uh, by who? His son, whom he has done what? Appointed heir of all things. By whom he did what? Made the world. Made the world. And I was making a point last week that what he spoke, because verses one and two was God, he was making a point that God spoke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God spoke in times past through the prophets. He spoke yeah. to our fathers and ancestors, but he's talking to the Hebrew people, so yeah. our ancestors, right? Yeah. So he, God spoke, God spoke to our ancestors by the prophet. Verse 2 says, the same God, I mean, the same God had in these last days mm -hmm. spoken unto us by his son. By his son. Yes, sir. And I was showing last week that what God spoke was the same thing that he had spoke through the fathers, through the prophet, through the fathers, to the fathers by the prophets. Yes. Mm -hmm. We saw that in Hebrews mm -hmm. uh, 3, where it talked about the gospel was the, the gospel was spoken unto us as well as as well as unto them, but they didn't receive it. Talking about the children of Israel in the wilderness. Amen. They didn't receive the gospel. This word gospel. The gospel was spoken unto them yeah. as us as, as unto them, but they didn't receive it because they they didn't mix it with faith. Amen. They didn't believe. Amen. They didn't believe what they heard, so it didn't help them. Yeah. Yeah. But it was the same word that was ministered by his son mm -hmm. 
Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. The Word of God, right? Amen. Which was everything that God, every word that God has spoken is yes. called the Gospel of the Kingdom, yes. the Word. Yes. Yes. It was the same word mm -hmm. that was spoken to the and to the people, the children of Israel in the wilderness, right? Yes. Yes. They didn't receive it. Yes. And it's a good warning. Mm -hmm. We don't let us get in that mindset no. that we won't receive it. Amen. For whatever reason. Amen. Right? Because we see it in the word and what we see what it is in the word. It's the same, same. word Amen. from the same God. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So Jesus Yeshua's job was to fulfill mm -hmm. the law yeah. or to make it complete make to make it, it crystal complete. clear what God was saying all along mm -hmm. all right so so it said had in these last days spoken to us mm -hmm. by his son yes and God appointed his son heir over all things mm -hmm. by whom also he made the world right yes uh, verse, uh, so I'm keep on reading. So verse three says, "Who, in the beginning, excuse me, who, who being the what? Brightness. brightness of what? Yes, Lord. Lord. Now, now, who is the brightness? Who is Jesus. the brightness? Jesus, Jesus, for sure, right? Yes. Of God's glory, right? Yes. yes. And he expressed what? Image, image, image of his person, yes. right? And uploading all things by what? The word of his power. When he had when he had by himself purged what? Our sins. What did he do after that? He sat down where? Right hand. The right hand of who? The majesty on high. God our Father Jehovah, right? He purged our sins, right? Woo, by the blood. This is we'll talk about that in this lesson today. Being made what? So much, so much higher than and the name of that lesson was son greater than the angels, right? So, so, so it's talking about the son, Jesus Christ, the Shulam Mashiach was made so much better than the angels. He had by inheritance obtained a more excellent what? Name. Name. Than they. <laughs> that name. For unto, and then he starts comparing, right? Because the, the son is greater. The son is greater, right? Mm -hmm. So verse 5, he says, For unto which, just name me one angel, unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art who? My son. My son, right? Mm -hmm. this, day have I begot, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be unto him a father, father and he shall be unto me a son. A son. That is, he but he said, name just one, one angel who can say that, right? Mm -hmm. No, no. Verse six, and again, when he bringeth, when he bringeth in who? First begotten. First begotten into the world. He said that all of who? Amen. The angels of God do what? Worship, Worship him. That's that's some part right there. Amen. Verse seven. And of the angels, he said, "Who maketh his angels what? Spirits, Spirits and his ministers what? Flames. Fire. Flames of fire." Now that's the angels. But unto the Son, he said, "Thy throne, O God, is for how long? Forever and ever." A what? Scepter of righteousness. Whew, we kind of talked about that. Is the scepter of what? Like king. We talked about a scepter. A, a scepter. scepter yes. right? That was what a king held up. Mm -hmm. Right? King held up. Mm -hmm. You didn't want that scepter. That king, that, that king held up that scepter, that could be either life or death. Uh, yes. You know, it, it was a. So that scepter was power. It represented yes. authority, right? Yes. Power. So, so he says, a scepter of righteousness yes. is the scepter of thy kingdom. Yes. Verse 9, he says, thou hast loved what? Righteousness. Righteousness and hated iniquity. Like we said, some versions replace that word iniquity with lawlessness, mm -hmm. yes. right? Now, now understand that this was translated, like I said, from the Greek language. 
And so there are different words that are translated iniquity. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we get looking, looking things up in the dictionary, which is okay, but you start looking up iniquity up in the dictionary and trying to find the meaning of what is meant right here, and it could be a different meaning than what is iniquity in another passage. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's good to look up the original word that was translated iniquity. Mm -hmm. Right? And you're going to come up with some different things. So the Greek word that's translated iniquity in this spot right here is lawlessness. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 sin is a transgression of the law. Amen. Lawlessness is sin. Amen. Right? Amen. Lawlessness is sin, so so that's so because all unrighteousness is sin. Amen. Right? Yes. Right? All unrighteousness is sin. So he said, Thou hast loved righteousness mm -hmm. and hated iniquity. 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 Or lawlessness. Or unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. Therefore, God, even thy God, has appointed thee with the what? Lord. All the gladness above who uh, thy yeah. fellow. The Son is Greater, he paid the price. Hey, well, I'm gonna get on to this lesson because we talk about that. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. He is worthy. worthy. My God. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. So on to today's lesson. The Lamb worthy of worship. Yes. This is Revelation five six through fourteen. Now I have written down the Book of Revelations. Is a book about the revelation that the Apostle John received while he was on the, while he was in the spirit, while he was in the spirit, on what is worded the Lord's day. Lord's day yes. wow. I was doing some research on that term, the Lord's day. They said that this this place is the only place that is used in Scripture, and mm -hmm. scholars actually uh, conclude that it would have been better worded the day of the Lord. Uh, which would have been on the Shabbat or Saturn, right? It, it, anyway, so, so they, they, they try to make it, they, they speak in it from a Greek, it's just, it gets kind of confusing when you when you don't go to, the, when you don't dig out the history, when you start anything in the middle, you're going to lose a lot. Yes. You're going to lose a lot. So history is crucial in getting all of what you're going to get out of anything. Amen. So anyway, so, but, but, but he was in the spirit on the Lord's day or the day of the Lord mm -hmm. while he was on the Isle of Patmos mm -hmm. for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ Yeshua sure how much she got that's Revelations mm -hmm. 1, 9, and 10 yes, John was told by God in verse 11 uh, chapter 1 verse 11 to write down in a book what he sees mm -hmm. and send it to the seven churches in Asia yes. right? go to, go to, now, chapter 4 I want you to go to chapter 4 with Revelation chapter 4. <laughs> and we're going to get on into our lesson. But Revelation chapter 4 and 1, this is after all of the letters to the churches, right? Mm -hmm. To the seven churches. Uh, Revelation 4 and 4, I'm trying to skip around. Mm -hmm. John said he saw what around the throne? 4 and 20 seats, right? Those seats would have been better, some translations say thrones. Mm -hmm. But it says he saw 4 and 20 seats, and uh, who was sitting in those seats? The elders. The elders. 24, elders. 24 elders, right? Mm -hmm. 24 elders were sitting in those seats, clothed in what? White, white, white raiment or white, white clothes, mm -hmm. right? What was on the 24 elders' heads? Crowns of gold. of gold. All right, now let's go on to chapter 5. Uh, I, wanted, I wanted to touch on that. That's going to kind of come up. So chapter 5, verse 4. A couple of verses before our, before our lesson. John said, in verse 4, he says that John wept. John wept much because of what? No man, was found to open. no man was found worthy to do what? Open. Open. To open the book, right? Uh, verse 2 says, I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book? Right? Yeah, Who's yeah. the seals thereof? Yeah. Nobody was worthy. So John was weeping because there was no man found worthy. Mm -hmm. Who spoke? 
verse 5. Yeah. One of the elders, right? One of those 24 elders yeah. spoke and said unto him, Do what? Weep not. Weep not. Behold the who? Lion of the tribe of Judah. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the what? The root of David. The root of David. Now that word root really meant a descendant. descendant. Mm -hmm. That's really what that was, the word root, the offspring, what something springs out of. So other translations actually say a descendant, the descendant of David. Mm -hmm. David was a, a patriarch, right? He was highly revered. Yes. So he said, this is David's mm -hmm. descendant, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so he says, um, Weep not, behold the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root or descendant of David, has did what? Prevail. Prevail. He was victorious, right? Yes. To do what? Open the seal. To open the book and to loose, loose the seals thereof. Mm -hmm. Now to our lesson, right? Mm -hmm. So John is saying, verse 6. He says, and I did what? Yeah. I beheld or I saw, right? We'll see this again. I yeah. saw, I looked, right? Yeah. John was paying attention. I looked. Yes. Mm -hmm. And lo, in the in the midst of what? The throne. The throne and four, four beasts. And in the midst of yeah. now see it in, in chapter four, verse four, we put that I, I kind of gave you that picture. You had you had the you had God. He said, verse 3, I mean, we didn't read verse 3. He talked about the throne. He saw, <clears throat> verse 3, he says, He that sat was to look upon like the jasper and sardine stone and rainbow and yada, yada, yada. Verse 4, around about the throne were four and twenty seats. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And elders yeah. sit in the seat, and the throne was preceded by lightnings and then. So, so in the midst of all of that, John saw in verse six, in the midst of all of the throne, the, the thrones, the seats, which were the thrones, which were the elders were sitting in, and the four beasts, in the midst of all of that, John saw what stood? The lamb. Right. A lamb. As it had been slain. 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 Mm -hmm. Having what? Seven, seven horns. Seven horns and seven eyes. seven eyes, which are the seven spirits. spirits of God sent forth oh, oh, to right. all the earth. Right? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 7. He came, that lamb came and did what? Took right. the book out of, out, of, out of whose hand? Right. right. The right hand of him that sat on the throne, right? Yes. Verse 8. When he had taken the book, um, the four beasts. And the 24 elders, what did they do? Fell down. Yeah. Fell down before whom? The lamb. The, the lamb. lamb. What did they have? Every one of them. Harps. Harps and golden vows, which are bowls, right? Golden yeah. bowls full of odors, mm -hmm. which are the what? Prayers of the saints. Prayers of the saints. And I was, I was explaining that the word saints always refer to Israel mm -hmm. in Scripture, in, in the New Testament. It, because a saint, the word that's translated saint is um, agios, agios, A-G-I-O-S, agios, which means holy. And, and they, did, they didn't just pass that name out like we do. They didn't just pass it out. Mm -hmm. It was a requirement, which was things that was in scripture that made you holy. God made you holy by certain things. People didn't, it was just, it was just so, so if they called somebody holy, it was according to scripture, right? <clears throat> so only people that were holy. That's why Jesus said, "Don't give that which is holy to the dogs." Amen. It is not meek. Yeah, you know, it's all that, that's that's the that's the context, right? So yes. the word that's translated saint was always referring to Israel. Mm -hmm. That's that's another conversation. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the, these were the prayers of the saints, right? Yes. Uh, so he says, when he had taken the book, verse eight. And the four beasts and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps, harps, uh, what type of harps? Harps and golden vials, or golden bowls full of old ears, which are the prayers of the saints. Yes. Verse nine. What did they do? They 
sung a new song, uh, saying, Thou art worthy. worthy to do what? Take the, Take the book. So who are they singing to? Who are they singing about? The land. They're singing about the land, right? Yeah. Thou art worthy to take the book and to do what? Open the seals. Open the seals, thereof, for thou wast slain, slain uh -huh. and has done what? Redeemed, Redeemed who? Us. Redeemed us. They, they said in the book because they said us is more than likely talking about the elders were singing and not the beasts. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the, the, the elders were singing this. And not the beast because of because of this part right here has redeemed us to who? Yeah. To yeah. God by thy blood. blood and out of every what? Kindred. Kindred, which which other translation, I think the NIV even says tribe. The word kindred is tribe. Mm -hmm. uh, and what? Uh -huh. Tongue or languages and yeah. people. And now this word people mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it, it did not it, they implied race. They implied race. Every they implied race, but I keep trying to make it clear that nobody used the term race referring like we use it. The, the term race, when you when you just look up the etymology of the word race, it originally meant kindred, like a family, descendants of one common ancestor. That was the original term of the term race. Race didn't mean skin color until the Ma'afa, the, the slave trade. That was, that was when they changed it to mean skin color. Mm -hmm. So this, when they say people, they're not talking about race, right? They're, they're actually talking about um, populace. Like, like say for instance, uh, Samaritans are people who live in Samaria, mm -hmm. right? Judean or Jews comes from a word that means people living in Judah. Israelite families living in Judah, right? Mm -hmm. So so that would be a people. Mm -hmm. That's what they mean by that, right? So people. Mm -hmm. All right, so so he says, and has redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred or tribe and, and tongue, language, and people, and nation. nation. Uh, verse 10. And has made who? Us. Uh, us. Unto our God, what? Kings and priests. We shall do what? Rain on earth. Like I had to read page 162. I think that's what Elder Paulus read. I think. Uh, no, 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 no. This, that's a. Okay, page 162 on the left side where it says their worship. It says. It says, the elders sang a new song of worship to the Lamb. Mm -hmm. The worship song uses the word us. So, so likely the elders, not the preachers, are the ones who sing this song, since the elders, not angels, are the ones who were redeemed. The song highlighted three aspects of Christ's life and work. You can go ahead and read through that. So I was just making that point of who was more than likely singing this song, yes. right? Mm -hmm. All right, verse 11. John goes on to say, and I what? Yeah. Yeah. We held or saw, right? I paid a time, was made aware of, and heard the voice of who? Yeah. Many angels where? Round about, Round about the throne, and the beasts, beast and the elders. elders. And the number of them was what? 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands and thousands. And are, are we supposed to multiply all that up, add all that up? No, no. It just means that was a innumerable, a lot, a lot, right? That's really, you know, it's, it's not something we do a lot of math on. They just make the point. It was just a lot of people, a lot of angels, right? Uh, verse 12. So those many angels, verse 12, they, with a loud voice, they said what? Worthy. 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 Worthy is the lamb that was slain, slain to, to do what? Now, they, they call this the sevenfold ascription of praise, right? Mm -hmm. That's what they said in the book. It said, mm -hmm. worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive 
power and what? Riches, Riches and wisdom, wisdom and strength, strength and honor, honor and glory, glory and blessing. blessing. Mm -hmm. He paid the price. Oh, I'm so grateful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He paid the price. Mm -hmm. He's worthy. He's worthy to receive all of that, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, verse 13 and every creature which is in heaven and on earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea all and all that are in them did what? heard, heard I say heard I saying, saying yes. don't sound right yeah. heard I saying, I, I, it made sense when I was reading this morning. <laughs> like I heard, it's like he's saying. Heard I saying, right, right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Saying, blessings and honor and glory and what? Power. Power, Power be unto who? Him. Yeah. Him that does what? Yeah. Sit yeah. upon the throne and unto yeah. the Lamb for yeah. Who sit on the throne? Jesus. God. God is sitting on the throne. And who is the Lamb? Jesus. Jesus is sure, right? Yes, yes. Verse 14. And the four Amen. beasts said what? Amen. 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 And the four and twenty elders fell down and did what? Worship him. Worship, worship him that liveth for how long? Ever and ever. ever. And ever. ever and ever. And I, I got in here to read page. I'm going to just read it again. Elder Polish read it earlier, but I thought it was so good. Yeah. Uh, just, just this one little part. I think he read all of them, but I'm just going to read the second one. Page 163, count on the left side in the middle, where it says second. It says, talking about true worship. Mm -hmm. True worship is about giving, not getting. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we hear people say, I did not get much out of the service this morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Getting is not the point of worship. Well, we can get that. We, it yeah, would, come on now. Be good. Come on now. <laughs> Getting is not the point of worship. Rather, we come to oh. give something. Mm -hmm. Give it back. We give the Lord our heartfelt yes. worship. Yes. 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 Right. Because yes. he is worthy. He's worthy. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. He's worthy. Yes. Woo. That is the essence of worship is giving. My God, thank you. Out of a grateful heart, right? Yes. Attitude of gratitude. Yes. Man. Just glad. Amen. Mom yes. and Dad, you guys have me told me Oh, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father God. We thank you for what you're doing by your spirit yes, and our lives for your glory, God. We thank you. Thank you. We are grateful for the Lamb that is worthy. Yes. Worthy. He is worthy. He's just so worthy. Worthy of worship, God. We worthy of our worship. We thank you. We thank you for sending him. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for the we thank you for, for your work. We thank you. We just thank you, Father. Yes. Thank you for what you're doing by your spirit in our lives. Father, we're constantly praying for the sick and the shut in. Thank you for what you're doing in the bodies of your people. Hallelujah. By Jesus Yeshua stripes we are. Yes, God, we thank you for your word going through the bodies of your yes, people yes. right now. We thank you for healing thank you. in the name of thank Jesus. You. Hallelujah. We thank you for the words coming forth. Yes, and we thank you for what you're doing by your spirit in our lives. Father, we thank you forever thank you. Yes, in Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 Amen.